Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. In lab number 8, I'll show you how to configure Teho calls via the gatekeeper or the UK IP phone dial 3XXX and the call must terminate on the T1 of SFO as opposed to the IP phone in Toronto. And it will, if it fails, it should use the local E1 gateway. The number type of this call via the SFO should be set to national while the local E1 should be set to international. So the call flow is this particular user right here 3001 will dial sorry 6001 dial 3001 this call from the UK gateway will use the gatekeeper as a first choice now if it when the call comes to the gatekeeper to call manager it is supposed to ring this particular phone right here but because it's 3001 one of the phone registered to call manager but instead instead of ringing that phone what we're going to do we're going to reroute this call via the gatekeeper sorry via the uh, uh, oh, internet into the San Francisco T1 and then route this call via this T1 into PSTN when the call goes to PSTN the call will ultimately come into the T1 in Toronto well let me use a different color in this case the call will somehow come into Toronto. Our goal is to bring the call back to call manager and then ring the phone. So some cases you may need to do uh, is weird call routing to achieve certain functions. So this is one of those cases. So let I will show you step by step how to achieve this. So first of all, we're going to ensure that my uh, our local TE1 can route this call to PSTN. So we'll, we'll configure a specific dial pair called 3xxx. Uh, we're going to prefix 001416303 port 16, 15. Now in order to keep the caller ID intact what we're going to do is we're going to create a voice translation rule Call rule number two and rule number two says anything and everything if the type is unknown keep it international and if its type is plan type is unknown keep it ISDN we will create a translation profile we'll call this uh, see a uh, I don't know um, international translate calling number based on this rule number two translate call number based on rule number two alright we will apply this translation rule into the voice dial we just created translate outgoing INT now I have two dial pair matching similar range one is 3001 3 dot 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 another one is a gatekeeper 3000 which will also meet 3 dot 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 to test this I will shut down my gatekeeper dial pair for now so that I can test the call with the parts uh, let's increase the parts uh, dial pair preference to 10 so that it can be a uh, second choice but the fact that the VoIP dial pair is down so it will be the only choice we want to be able to route this call. Call will come via the T1 in Toronto. We can enable debugging on this router to see if the call actually arrives. And I can dial from this particular phone. It says ring out. And 